So you're a student sitting in class with your laptop and you want to take some notes. Well, it's a lot of options you have to take notes. A lot of people, they take notes in Microsoft Word because they want the traditional um, sense of it. And then they just use their notes to create a paper if they need to uh, from the assignment. Um, so I am going to show you Microsoft Word and some note taking. Of course, you know, you can just open up Microsoft Word and then let's say you're in science class and then you start taking notes and then da da di da di do. That's it. Um, I did want to show you a feature though that Microsoft Word does have. If you go in the um, view, and instead of print layout, you go to notebook layout. Okay. If you go to that, and then you can either hit create new, or if you have in some old notes, you can convert them into the new one. Okay. So when you do that, uh, I'll just hit create new. Okay, you get this little cool notebook feature. So it actually feels and looks like that you're writing or typing notes on a notebook. Now let's say, yeah, I don't like this uh, color in the background. It's kind of annoying. No problem. Let's say you like the blue. You got some blue, you got some walnut for you. You got some oak. Um, you got some black oak, my favorite, titanium. Now let's say, hey, I don't like these little spirals here. Hey, you can change that too. Just go up here to appearance, and you can change that as well. And it um, gives you a lot of different looks that you can choose. All right, so let's say we're in science class, okay? Or computer class, okay? And on the right section here, what I would do is like have a, a notebook for everything, like all your uh, notes for computer class. Like just keep it computer class. So when you go to file, save as, save that as uh, like computer notes. And then you can save that on your desktop. So now on the section, and you'll type in hardware. Um, the one nice thing I like about the notes is that you can um, organize them well into a nice layout that's customizable. So I'm going to type in hardware. Okay. And in hardware, um, and we're going to, and let's say you don't like these lines. You see these lines in here? Um, by the way, you should probably zoom in a little bit more. So I'll zoom in. Um, so if you don't like these lines, you can hit none and then it's a free lines there. So let's say we are starting with your hardware, okay? Um, so I'll put computer and then hardware and then I'll put the mother drive, sorry, <laughs> motherboard. And on the motherboard, by the way, I'm just hitting Enter Tab, and notice it's automatically giving us these um, uh, bullets. If you don't want bullets, if you want numbering system, you can do numbering system as well. So you can choose that. So I'm going to hit Enter Tab, and then on the motherboard, we have your processor. Okay, and you Enter Tab, and then let's say you have your RAM. Okay, and then you hit Enter and Shift Tab. We'll go back, and after motherboard, let's say we want to. Um, Go with our CD-ROM, and so on. Now, if you want to change something like RAM, um, you can go in here to the uh, here. You can promote, demote, move up, move down, and you can easily um, organize it this way. So, if I want my RAM in front of my processor, I can move it up. I can promote it. I can demote it. So that's handy. You can also change uh, the color, like the blue and all that fun stuff. Okay, so uh, next what I wanted to show you is let's say you're building a computer. Okay, that was the assignment, and you have to like make a checklist of the parts you want. Well, you can do checklists as well. For example, your um, RAM. I can right here it says note on your uh, formatting toolbar, and again if you don't have that, it's right here. And so I just click on that note flag. And notice that there's a little button here. If I want to do that to the processor too, boom. And let's say I'm building it and I finished the RAM, boom, I check mark it. Check mark the processor, finished. Oh, I didn't do the processor. Uncheck. So that's really uh, helpful to do as well. Um, 
uh, let's say you're one make some notes to yourself like you're studying about the processor and you want to um, give a more vocal or verbal note to yourself so you won't forget that's one of the beauties of uh, having word now the audio format this is especially for uh, Mac so what you can do is here at the top you have this audio toolbar okay and to do the preferences for um, your audio you can go to preferences on word and audio notes and then you can change if you want like a higher quality like stereo you want to record a higher size and again if you do it higher size your file format is going to be a little bit um, higher so I can just hit record and you can record a note to yourself for the processor so I could say oh remember to put a cooling fan on top of the processor I hit stop and then you'll see this little um, icon for the speaker coming up so and then you can just click on that uh, when you need to um, that audio reminder uh, some people they just Get audio notes when they want to record their teachers uh, lecturing or different things like that. Now the audio isn't going to show unless you hover over processors. It's just a way to make it more neat. Although at the bottom you can hit show all audio markers and then it will show up if you need it. You can leave it like that. So then it's good um, to go. So the audio is really helpful. So again when you're um, some Cool stuff you can do to make it look a little bit nice. Um, if you want to do freehand, like some math things, you can like draw. Okay, so let's say four divided by, you know, two. Maybe doing a math equation that needs you to be. Or if you want to draw an example of your processor and then make your cool designs for it, uh, you can do a lot of cool drawings on that. So you can check that. If you make a mistake, oop, I erased it. I'm not doing math anymore. See ya. Uh, you can select your objects and move them around. Uh, for the processor, let's say you're resizing it. So the processor right there. Um, I can also insert uh, pictures. So let's say, so on the first one, you can insert shapes. So if I want to uh, make a model of something, okay, I can do that. And then I can arrange send to back. And it's like I'm building my processor with shapes. So I can do that. Or if you want to put arrows, like, hey, this is important. Make sure you look at my computer notes. Now, you can also put in some clip art that they have here. And let's say your favorite animal is a bunny. And whenever you see a bunny, it just makes you happy. And you always want to work when you're happy. So you can go ahead and insert a little bunny in there to make you happy. Uh, make sure that in your format palette, you choose um, the format, click on the bunny, choose formatting, and put it in front of the text. So that's important for the toolbar. So again, the, in front of the text, um, you can do also some different like shadowing of it if you want. So, so there, now we got a bunny and we're happy with a shadow. Uh, let's also say we're taking notes for David because David missed class and this is especially for him because you're a good friend for him so you can also go into your um, images the fourth one and insert a picture hey look the bunny is on top of David hmm. that's not right um, we're gonna go into David and if you have your picture you can actually resize the picture and again, we're going to put it in front of the text. And you can also rotate it. So you can do both things as well. Um, so here we're going to go rotate David. And we're going to put them in front of the text. That way we can move him around away from the bunny. And those aren't actual size. Uh, let's go back to our pictures. There's one more thing I want to show you, and that's like the symbols that you can use. Uh, for these symbols, like there's an apple symbol. Uh, you can put some check marks. Uh, if you want to put a, some stars next to like important things, you can do that as well. So I insert a star next to um, one of them. 